Hello there, and welcome back to another Star Wars SH Figure Arts action figure review. This one just came in yesterday. Um, I've seen a lot of people getting them in the mail. They've, it's just a brand. It's brand new. It's just been released. It's Obi Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith, and a very exciting addition to to the line, um, and a, just a really really great figure. I've been really looking forward to adding this one to my Anakin um, to pair them up, but I'm looking forward to messing around with those figures and setting them up together and stuff like that so let's get on with it so before we we'll, you know, take a look at the figure we'll just have a look at the box again just sort of st standard stuff as always nice picture on the side some pictures on the back mm, yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> nice and simple so in terms of his accessories he comes with an additional head this is his sort of, obviously it's a bit more aggressive, um, calling out, looks good. It is the full head, which is nice. Um, I do appreciate it a little bit more when they give him the full heads as opposed to just swap out face. Works well with some, not with others. Um, so I'm thankful for this. It's nice and easy just to switch out the full head as opposed to pull different pieces apart. Uh, get the unlit lightsaber hilt, which has a peg there, which will peg onto his belt. It's nicely detailed, looks good. Now he's got multiple changes of hands, uh, as do most figures, but we've got a set of fists. We have a set of open hands, We have a set of these sort of semi-open lightsaber holding hands at an angle, so you can sort of see it's holding out sort of straight in front. And then we have a pair of sort of tighter, tighter grip, uh, gripping hands. I've got one of them on the figure right now. And of course we've got the, the iconic targeting fingers. Which is really cool. Uh, I think all the Obi Wans have come with it now, except for the Ben Kenobi, which I just reviewed uh, earlier on the week. And of course, his lit lightsaber, which is in his hand. Um, again, this is one of those ones that's sort of split into two bits, <clears throat> so you can get it inside that joint, inside that hand. Peg it up, push it in, get it nice and tight. Way you go. So let's get a good close up of Obi Wan here. I think it's a pretty good likeness. I, I really like it. I think it's good. I twist the light around a little bit. There we go. That might make it a little bit better. Oh, I, I dig it. Um, Still a little bit of that sort of goldish in the hair that they use. Not quite as much as they used to. Um, matter of fact, it's not really there at all. Um, so maybe they have gone away with it. I know it's hard to pick up in this light and uh, I'm struggling to look at it myself. Um, being that I'm, there's a camera in between me and the figure itself. But yeah, it looks good. I like it. The robes look good as always. Nicely, nice pieces. I like the separate layers there. The belt looks good. Of course, there's the peg hole I was talking about earlier on that lightsaber clip. Lightsaber pegs in there. I will just show you. It does sit on there quite nicely. pouches and you know just the little gold buttons and all those little details are great. Of course this time we've got the more ready boots. Ready as in reddish in colour <laughs> as opposed to uh, the brown boots of the Attack of the Clones one. So 
He had a slight change in boots and uh, slightly different colour to the uh, Ben Kenobi there as well. Articulation as always is really good. Um, as I've said in plenty of videos before this one, um, you know, there's so much articulation, it's hard to pick out all the joints and stuff. But if you know these figures, you know the, the articulation well. But yeah, definitely a, definitely a great figure. I'm really impressed. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from buying these figures for a little bit. At least until um, Celebration, see if I find any there that tickle my fancy. But I've got five weeks till we head off to the United States. Me and my wife, so going to have to take a little break from from buying buying toys for a bit. Um, I know I've been saying that for like a month, but <laughs> I need to, I need to be good for a little while. Uh, I figure the more money I save now, the more I'll have to spend while I'm over there, and that's gonna be far more fun than just buying stuff on the internet. So I'm I'm pretty happy with my SH Figure Arts collection as it stands. I'm very happy with it, to be honest. Um, they're just great quality figures. Really had a lot of fun collecting them up until now. And definitely hoping to add to them in the future. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, so check out all the links in my description. You can find me around the place on the internet. And, uh, and uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. So until my next video, guys. I'm not sure what it will be. Uh, any requests are always welcome. But until then, may the force be with you. Always.